Hello and welcome in Helsinki. The fresh start and the first coffee finally hit and I really cannot wait to explore this new country for us and the capital city of Finland. Can you hear that guys? So this is my first impression in Helsinki. Airport toilet with the birds singing and the toilet shower. Cool, I think so. If you missed our last episodes, let me quickly recap what we've been up to. After exploring Albania, we came back to the Dolomites and we spent few days around Lake Garda. Now we just landed in the capital city of Finland where we want to discover its gems and sights. So we did such a thing, let me tell you guys. As you may know, there are two airports in Milano area, the Melpins and then the one in Bergamo. And the last time we flew, it was actually from Malpensa to JFK in November. And back then we booked an accommodation and we oversleep there. And you know, it was very convenient to just wake up in the morning and be very close to the airport. But this time our flight was from Bergamo, which is one hour drive closer to Bolzano. So like the flight was at 6 a.m. So we would have to wake up at, I don't know, 3 a.m. So we've decided to drive in the evening about 10 p.m. It was actually way better than I expected. <laughs> and yeah, then we parked our car and used the shuttle bus to the airport. We were so tired, but actually that was pretty cool because then we could sleep all the way, mostly in the plane and yeah the flight was very nice and we arrived on time actually a little bit ahead so i'm glad we decided this way and the weather here is a little bit colder than it was in Bolzano because we actually had already like 25 degrees celsius and here it's about 12 let's say but yeah I'm excited so we are gonna find a way how to get to the city center and around Helsinki. So let's go. When going to Helsinki you probably will be flying in here although you can drive or even get here by boat from other Nordic countries but if you fly in this airport which is the only one it's probably like 20 kilometers from the city center and there are multiple options how you can get to the city taxi which is the most expensive way and it's probably like 50 euros then there is a shuttle bus which goes directly from airport to the city center or the train and this is the option we choose as we are slowly approaching the train station which is located just uh, inside the building of the airport we have to buy the tickets and we have two options one is uh, we download the app and register there and we can buy them online or we'll use the kiosk so let's see what's easier we arrived to the platform and meantime i downloaded the official app and as uh, I saw right now, the city is divided into multiple zones and you have to buy specific tickets based on where you are traveling to and from and includes all these zones. So I think it's more convenient for us to just buy it with a app which includes also the planner and tells you specifically which uh, tickets you have to buy. So uh, it's quite straightforward. It's in English. So I already set it up my address where I want to go and uh, it shows me the options we go with P train and it leaves in 45 minutes and it's quite quick so I can just buy the ticket you have to always buy and validate the ticket before you enter the car or the train so let's do it we are not going to the city center, so we are just uh, traveling within two zones, B and C. So it automatically tells me which zones I'm adult and it tells me when uh, the ticket will be validated. I, I have my payment method there and then I select adult and I can pay, confirm the payment. I can just buy one ticket at a single time, but Okay, I already paid one and I can do the same basically for another ticket.
and we're done. We should have two tickets which will be valid from uh, five minutes before the train P will depart. So quite easy. So apparently to get from the airport to the city center is very easy and convenient. You just take one train and you are in the city center. But we currently drop off the metro and we are waiting for a bus right now because we are not going directly to the city center as we are visiting our friends here and we are going directly to their house. So we dropped off our bags and luggage and they live in such a beautiful area. It's so quiet, it's kind of like small house residence and it looks very beautiful here it's a bit weird for me because it looks like a spring has just come here like everything is blooming and you know we were already like in the, our summer era so it's funny now we are going just to walk around and to see the neighborhood and uh, maybe walk for a beach because they actually live like just few meters from the sea so we are going to breathe some fresh cold air. Now we are a few minutes walking through a very nice boulevard with uh, nice apartments where with area which is very calm and full of green. We are reaching the coast of the Baltic Sea right now and I have to say it's very nice and we are going to check the beach which uh, locals say that it's one of the nicest ones so we cannot wait to see it look at this as i was told it's obviously an artificial beach with sand that it's brought here and dumping yeah but it's beautifully clean yeah people take care of it honestly feels a little bit strange to wear a jacket on the beach like it's nearly June but it's still very beautiful and the sun is warm so I feel we're gonna dip once we are here yes maybe but not, not today, today but it's 10 degrees by the way days. <laughs> I hope so oh but can you imagine the view people have from those apartments it's just amazing oh yes and there are quite new ones everywhere it's a probably a new residential area right on the beach there is a cute local cafe where we've just grabbed some coffee to go and they were so sweet they even gave us a uh, small chocolate it's actually a uh, typical Finnish chocolate there are a few spots inside where you can just sit and enjoy it and even have the fresh flowers there which was so cute there is also a lovely outside sunny terrace which is pretty nice but we grabbed our coffee and some muffins because you know the posture looked so good and we are just walking to find some spot because we have a picnic blanket so we are going to enjoy this lovely welcoming summer weather which is apparently much nicer than we firstly thought <laughs> and just like that we just find ourselves in such a cute little forest i mean look at this spot how cool is this doesn't even feel like you are in the capital city right yeah, it's a very small peninsula just next to the sea and that's where we want to enjoy our coffee. We just found a beautiful spot where to enjoy our coffee. It's a very calm and peaceful one. I mean, it was not uh, such a problem because everything is so calm here. Yeah, who would think that we would end up this day like that by eating blueberry muffins, having a cup of coffee and really like enjoying such a beautiful scene.
there is something about this beach that it can be the most beautiful man I mean this is the first one we'll see so far in Helsinki but I think it's really nice the water is super clean and also cold obviously but I can imagine when the weather gets warmer a lot of people can come here yeah if not to swim just to have a sun bath oh yeah definitely and I think this is the end up for this episode from our first day in Helsinki. Yeah, but I also can't wait to see the city center and to discover like the real town. But so far, so good. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this travel day with us. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you love this episode. So in the next one, we can explore more together. See you guys. See you next Sunday. Bye.